my beautiful little kiwis, it's Kiwi Swimming here and welcome back to my channel for another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are building a whole blah, a house. <laughs> How am I only like 10 seconds into the commentary and already stuffing it up? Welcome to my channel, I'm not a mess, I'm not all over the place, I'm fine, I'm really good. Um, I've built <laughs> a place that I've named Coastal Cottage today just because uh, it's, it's, it's a coastal cottage, kind of. I don't know. What's a cottage? I don't actually know what a cottage is. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, nah, I don't know. I always, like, my entire life, I was, like, led to believe that a cottage is a very, very small house, but I'm pretty sure that's not necessarily true. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a style. So, actually, this possibly isn't a cottage at all, but it is coastal, so it's not entirely clickbait. I'm kind of, like, I kind of know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's great. But yeah, I really wanted to do um, another build with the Cats and Dogs pack because I've realized I've not done a lot of builds for the Cats and Dogs pack. I've done like, I did an animal I did an animal lover's apartment yesterday. Um, oh, I did a house renovation. Is this the first build I've done in Brindleton Bay? It can't be. Oh, it can't be. I, re no, really? Oh, I can't be bothered to check right now. Hopefully this isn't the first build I've done in Brindleton Bay, but if it is, ya hikes. <laughs> That's kind of tragic, but I don't know. I just really wanted to do a build that was like in Brindleton Bay. I really wanted to build on this lot in particular because I think this lot is just so cute. It's just, it's perfect. It's like it backs onto the beach and I think that's just really precious. I don't know, I love this. I love this build. It's, well, not this build. Oh, I do love this build, but I love this lot. It's just, a, it's such a nice lot. And since it's like right by the beach, it obviously kind of makes sense to make it quite coastal. So yeah, that's that's what we're doing today, friends. And I love it. Okay, um, it's also really nice building like beachy things at the moment because um, I'm actually like coming into summer myself uh, in New Zealand where have actually not just hit summer, okay? Listen, my entire life, I was always led to believe that the first day of, a of the first month of a new season was like, do you know what I mean? Wait, <laughs> here's how I thought seasons used to work. Okay, I thought uh, summer started on December the 1st. I thought autumn just started on the, what did I just say? I thought autumn started on December, January, February, March the 1st, and so on and so forth. I thought like seasons started on the first of every month. I mean, well, not every month, but you know, like every three months, the first, you know what I mean? On the first. I always thought seasons started on the first. I found out the other day, that's false. That's false. Frickin' summer doesn't officially start until the 22nd of December this year. I d Excuse me? Like, I found that out by talking in my Discord server because, like, I mentioned on the 1st of December, it's currently the 3rd when I'm recording this, the 4th when it goes up, um, unless you're in the Northern Hemisphere, then it's, it's, it is in fact the 3rd. Um, but yeah, I, um, I made a comment on the 1st, I was like, oh, it's officially summer as of today. And was talking about how, you know, it's the, you know, December the 1st, it's the first day of summer. And like, People were saying that like, th they don't have the first day of summer on like the first day of a month. Their first days of a season are like midway through the month. And I was like, oh my God, that is so weird. We don't have that, nah, nah. <laughs> but then I Googled it and no, I've been wrong my entire life. Summer doesn't start until the 22nd of December for me. And I'm just kind of boggled by that. It doesn't make sense. Ah. Uh, <laughs> And it's not just me that thought this as well, because um, my friend Perry, um, who's also one of my mods, she thought it was summer on like the 1st of December as well. So we were both equally as like mind boggled when we found out that like, that's not true. <laughs> I'm still kind of shaken by it because my whole life, you know, it's just that feeling of thinking you know something your entire life and then finding out what you thought was correct is incorrect. It's like a punch in the face almost. I feel kind of betrayed by my mother. She lied to me. Um, yeah, thanks, Deb. Appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, it's not officially summer for me. How did I get onto this topic? I don't even know. But, oh, I think I was talking, no, yeah, I was talking about how it like feels super nice to be doing like coastal builds since I am coming into summer soon. <laughs> not yet, like I thought I was. Um, 
Cause yeah, I don't know. I feel like around this time of the year, I tend to do more cozy things just because like my brain seems to be conditioned to believe that like it's winter when it's Christmas because like everything else that's relating to Christmas, it's like wintry, all the songs, like walking in a winter wonderland and like, um, mistletoe and wine, logs on the fire and you know, just like all of the songs and all of the movies are to do with like snow and winter and being warm and cozy and all that stuff. So like, I just, I jump to believe that it's winter, even though I know I'm literally sweating in my office because it's so freaking hot. I had to cancel a stream today because my hay fever was so bad and I'm only just able to record something now. It's 4 p.m., okay? When I woke up this morning, oh God, I was in such a freaking state this morning when I woke up, I tell you. I, my eyes were swollen like literally swollen. I could barely freaking see out of them. They were so small and like so puffy around my eyes. Um, I was sneezing every two minutes. I couldn't breathe. I was very, very tired. I'm very tired in summer because like, A, I'm pretty sure fatigue is actually a symptom of hay fever as well. Um, if you don't know what hay fever is, I think they're also called spring allergies. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure fatigue is also a symptom of it. So I was very, very tired from that. Um, as it was and on top of that I didn't sleep well last night because of my hay fever like I couldn't breathe and stuff It was it was rough. So I had to cancel this morning's stream um, or yesterday's stream by the time you're watching this which sucked because like oh It was one of those days where I really really wanted to stream like I'm always excited to stream but there's like some days where I'm just Oh, it's all I can think about the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning is streaming like and that was one, today was one of those days. I was so excited to get into some streaming. I was gonna do some um, Sims 3, uh, yeah, some Sims 3 random legacy challenge. And I was really excited for it, but I just, I couldn't. I looked in the mirror, I was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> I could not do it. I, I should have taken a Snapchat. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that to myself. It's not a nice sight. Um, but yeah, so I was supposed to stream at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, I've been putting off filming all day because I've been sneezing, I've been like phlegmy, it's really gross. I'm disgusting in hay fever season because I'm one of those people that like isn't afraid to bring it up. You know what I mean? Like with your nose, I'm not gonna do it. <gasps> oh, throwback to that time I accidentally did it on stream because like I have no self control. Let's not talk about it. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like where you like, you kind of like snort your phlegm up. Yeah, I did it on stream once. Isn't that the most disgusting thing you've ever heard in your life? <laughs> I'm so sorry to anyone who was there. I probably lost some uh, respect from quite a lot of you on that day. Oh man, let me know if you were there. Let me know if you can look at me the same. <laughs> but yeah, I actually, I do that a lot in real life. Uh, it was only a matter of time before I did it on stream. But yeah, so I've been doing that all day. It's disgusting, I know that. Um, and yeah, I've only just gotten to a point where I feel like I can record now. Ugh. <laughs> It's 4 p.m. That's literally like six hours later. I've been sleeping all day as well just because I Don't know. I just thought that maybe if I slept all day it would fight it off and actually It's worked because like oh no, I did pop some hay fever tablets this morning So maybe they actually finally worked. Um, I'm usually pretty immune immune immune. I'm pretty immune I'm pretty immune <laughs> To hay fever tablets. I'm pretty sure um yeah, they, they normally have no effect on me, but actually, come to think of it, I'm okay right now, so maybe I'm not immune to them. I don't know, but whatever. I can breathe now, basically, moral of the story. <laughs> but I can't stream now because I have to go to my parents in an hour for dinner, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what do I have to say about this build? Um, I like it. That's a start. Oh, do you want to know what I did today? Okay, you can probably tell from my Twitter. I watched a two hour long concert of Phil Collins and it was honestly like the best thing I've ever watched. I wasn't even at the damn concert and I was like legit crying. I'm not even kidding. Like, oh, it was so good. And like he sung a bunch of songs and he did In The Air Tonight about like in the middle of the concert. And you could just tell, you could just tell that he was about to do it because he finished the song that he performed before In The Air Tonight and the entire stadium just went dark. And then they were just like doing some like he was obviously getting ready for it, like, you know, having a bit of a break, having a drink and stuff like that. Um, and there was just this, like, this ambience in the room and, like, the music people in the background were, like, doing some sort of music-y stuff. Music-y stuff that's not even a thing. I, look, I'm so blown away by this concert that I can't even, like, say anything. 
Um, you just knew, you know, you just knew he was about to do In The Air Tonight. And then it starts. And if you don't know what In The Air Tonight is, it's pretty much like, ugh, oh, sorry, I smacked my microphone. Um, it's pretty much the song that Phil Collins, I think, is most known for. Um, so if you think you don't know who Phil Collins is, listen to In The Air Tonight by Phil Collins. You probably know who he is. Um, <laughs> and so he starts it. And then it was such a nice performance. And then, like, he's gradually moving across the stage, like, the entire time he's singing the songs. And at first I thought he was just, like, pacing. But then I realised, no, he's gradually moving closer and closer to the big drum set that's up on the platform, like, above him. And when he gets to his drum solo, he just, he drops that beat, fam. He drops that bitch. And it was so good. Oh, I literally, like... I squeaked. I had to pause the um, video actually and get up and like walk around because I knew what was coming and I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> just just as soon as the like stadium just dipped, I was like, oh my God, in the air tonight is coming. I had to stop the video and literally like take a break because I was about to like cry. <laughs> I'm a very big fan of Phil Collins. Like I feel like if you don't like follow my channel, I love him so much. I feel like some people think it's like a joke that I love Phil Collins just because like it's Phil Collins. Why is a 22 year old girl obsessed with Phil Collins? But like no, I actually genuinely freaking love him. Um, my mum does as well. I sent my mum the link to the concert. Hopefully she's watched it. Um, I've got family dinner with her in an hour so I'll talk to her about it. If she hasn't watched it, she's a fake fan. Um, but oh god, I just I love him so much. He's such a like classic and some of the old ladies at work don't like him And so every time a song comes on of his and I get all excited and I start singing to um, I start singing it Someone's like, oh Phil <laughs> it's like, Can you shut up? <laughs> oh you <Ugh. laughs> Just don't just Phil Collins, okay? You don't have to like him. Just don't insult him to me. Um, but anyway, oh wow, did I really just like fly through a couple of minutes of this commentary talking about Phil Collins? Sounds about right. But yeah, we're working on the only bedroom in this house, um, which is a very cute one, might I add. Do you see how I use like a lot of stuff from the Cats and Dogs pack? Have you got the Cats and Dogs pack? If you do, let me know. Um, and let me know if you like, what's your favourite part of it? I actually think I prefer the build by over the fact that we have pets, which is kind of weird. But like, I do love that we have pets. Don't get me wrong, obviously, like that's huge. But the build by, I'm so blown away. I don't think I've ever been as blown away by the build by in a pack or like anything before. Everything is just so nice. It's so like nautical and like coastal and just, oh, everything makes me feel like summer and I love it. And Brindleton Bay is beautiful. Oh, Man, oh man, it's just, it's a beautiful place to be. Am I right, fam? <laughs> Cats and Dogs is a great pack. If you don't have it already, you should ask for it for Christmas um, or invest in it if you have the money to do so. It's, I recommend it. Even if you're not a big animal person, I promise you will find something in this pack that you absolutely adore. Um, but yeah, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm adding a little computer desk. Nice, thought I was done with this room, but plot twist, I was not. And yeah, what else do I even do from here? <laughs> is this literally it? <laughs> I built this like over a week ago. That's a lie. I built it like five days ago. Uh, yeah, whatever. We're doing some finishing touches, I guess, and uh, possibly getting ready to jump into some screenshots. Yes, no, maybe so. Don't even know my own video. Oh, yeah, we're about to jump into some screenshots. Okay, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up for me. Uh, this whole house will be up on the gallery. My origin ID is Kiwi Swimming. You will have to check include custom content because I have bad CC. <laughs> Surprise. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you a lot. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.